First, downtown Kansas City is busy this week. We're trading tall and lanky athletes of Big 12 basketball for the stout and stocky builds of wrestlers. The NCAA Wrestling Championship, the national championships taking over T-Mobile Center starting tomorrow with competitors and fans already pouring in. Fox 4's Jacob Kittlestad live downtown. What kind of crowds are we expecting, Jake? Oh, big ones, John. Over the next three days, each session of this out here is expected to be attended by some 17,000 fans. Friday, Saturday sessions, they're already sold out. I saw some tickets on the resale market. They're pretty pricey, but it won't be hard to pick out the visitors down here over the weekend. Fans check out the venue ahead of the first wave of matches in a 330-man bracket. This is like my vacation coming out here. This is a national championship, but it's, I'll tell you, it's a tough ticket to get. I mean, you sit on the edge of your seat every match. We've been preaching to the guys pretty much all week, 11 a.m. Tomorrow is what we need to be ready for. Steve Midditch is an assistant coach for Rutgers University. Checked into the hotel. They actually have mats in the hotel for us already. Um, so, so that was really convenient. The NCAA wrestling fans are like none other. Uh, they'll be at the local bars. They'll be at the restaurants in between sessions. This is a place to go when you want to catch up with the old school. <laughs> Buddy Lee has wrestled in the tournament. That was before he became a U.S. Olympian in 1992. Here he is with President Bill Clinton after competing in Greco-Roman wrestling. He says today's athletes are on a different level, but some things stay the same. When it comes to mindset, it's the same across the board. You know, you have to believe in yourself, and at this level, you, you must believe in yourself and believe that all the experiences that you, you know, picked up along the way for the year it's time to put it together and have a winning performance. Every match is going to be close. I mean, you just don't know who's going to win. I mean, they're all two-point matches, so it's it's just like he said, it's intense. Uh, they're picked to win it all, but of course, you never know until you know. It's like they say, you gotta you gotta get out there and wrestle. Now he's talking about Penn State coming into the competition with four number one seeds. They've actually won ten out of the last twelve national titles. So. The favorites out here. I did see some tickets for sale for tomorrow's sessions, but that's about it if you want to stay off the resale market. Jacob Kittlestead, Fox 4, working for you.